Noobcast. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Noobcast. Last time we were in the Plat and Diamond area bringing you a PvP. Today we have a PvT and we are in the Bronze Zone. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Bronzy PvT coming at you between Villain, the red Protoss player, and his opponent, none other than WNX T Ninja. T Ninja. Uh, not a newcomer to Newcast. He is actually, um, he has sent in some of the best bronze games I've seen. He's sent in a lot of games. Let me, let me preface. He sent in quite a few games, um, and there were, uh, probably more no's than yeses, but he has been, uh, he has sent a couple of really nice bronze games. I'm surprised that he's still in bronze. He probably should be, uh, advancing soon. He's shown some pretty good games, so looking forward to this bronze action on Entombed Valley between Villain and Team Ninja. WNX, I don't know what WNX is. Uh, if that's a clan or a team, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, more power to you guys. My name is Blomus. If you're unfamiliar, Noobcast is all about uh, giving some attention where it is sorely needed in the community on the lower levels and proving as we have time and time again that fun and interesting games and sometimes even educational games can um, can happen at any level actually let me rephrase educational games this is long time uh, for a long time been a um, an idea of mine and uh, it has uh, um, is taken a little bit of a back seat in recent months just because I haven't really talked about it uh, but one of the things that got me starting got me started doing newcast at all was the idea that you don't really learn that much from watching pros play and now you might listen to that and be like huh what do you mean I learn everything I, I, I learn from watching pros play um, yes you learn what you ought to be the, the, the highest Things that you ought to be reaching for, striving for, you learn from watching the pros play. Now, that being said, um, I believe that uh, the problem with that thinking is that you there's only so much you can learn from a pro. You can learn what build to do. Um, you can learn, um, you know how things are meant to be done, but at this stage, especially if you're at a lower level like a bronze player, you if you try to execute what the pro player is doing, you're only going to be frustrated because you simply can't do it. You're not mechanically able to do it. Um, and so in that regard, watching pros alone and watching only pros can be very frustrating, can be very discouraging. Especially if, if you are not a mechanically gifted player like a lot of the pros are and you find that your uh, mechanics are actually lacking when it comes to your gameplay, um, which, is some, which is the case for me. I think that uh, if it weren't for my horrible, horrible mechanics and slow uh, hand speed and whatnot, I'd probably not be in silver <laughs> um, again being demoted from gold again this even seven blah 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 um but yeah but the, my point remains um but and that's only one reason the other thing is is when you watch the high level players you don't see the mistakes that you make you never see the mistakes you never see um the pros get supply blocked you never see the miss micros you never get to see what not to do and so that's i think one of the benefits of watching lower level games if you're a lower level player is getting to see other people make the mistakes that you make every day when you don't even notice that you're making them you know because uh, i might point something out a decision make a decision that someone's made or a um, unit composition that doesn't work well and you say oh crap i do that all the time i need to stop doing that um, but you're not going to learn that kind of mistake by watching the pros play because they're not going to make that kind of mistake uh, where other guys on your level will make those mistakes all the time. 
So yeah, that's uh, one of the main reasons why I started Noobcast was uh, for those two reasons. Uh, but mostly and overarching, all of that is entertainment. We want to be entertained. We want to watch fun games. And the fact of the matter is, is not all pro games are entertaining. Um, I've watched every season of the GSL, and there have been games that have been downright boring, um, uninteresting, and lame. And that happens at the absolute highest level of play. So... Uh, the same is true at low-level games. Not only, it's just, it's a question of percentages, you know? Obviously, when you have the, the highest level players playing against each other, as we see Villain <laughs> cannoning off, I don't, can... Can he even get out of there? I don't even think he can get out of his own base. Oh, no. You warped units into your base, you're not gonna be able to get out. Oh no! And now he knows it. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> oh boy. Oh villain. Like, the, like you're never gonna see. Pro oh no, he's gonna do it even more. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad there, bro. Pretty bad. Uh, buddy's making dark shrine. He wants to warp in some DTs over here, uh, and they're not gonna be able to get in because. Ninja is walled off, and he does have energy for a scan. Is he going to use it for... Is he going to use it for a mule? Here come the DTs. Did he mule? He is not muled yet, so if he holds that scan, he's going to be in good shape. If he mules, he's dead. Is he gonna send them in? What's he gonna? What are you waiting for, Holmes? Four DTs is better than three. Five. Oh no! Here comes the missile turret, and it's not even gonna matter. Ninja's gonna get the turret up, and all of these DTs are gonna die. <laughs> oh, poor villain! And now he's gonna go and tear down the rocks instead. What do you think you're gonna do going over there? What's, what's that? What good is that going to do? Oh my goodness. But anyway, you understand my meaning. And Ninja's going to Marauder drop. That'll be fun. Um, and Villain still cannot get out of his base. What is he going to do? I mean... I am confused. Confused, confused. So yeah, um, I guess that's enough about that. Pretty much understands the reasoning behind a noob cast. And man, this mouse gonna be death of me. And here comes T Ninja with the counter attack. Zealots being warped in. DT being warped in. I like this. Good idea. Good idea. Is he going to scan over here? Take care of the DT? It's going to take three hits, but Ninja is killing a lot of probes. Oh, and he lifts off and he leaves. He only lost three Marauders in that. Did a lot of good damage. Um, now, as good a job as Teen Ninja is doing here, Let's recognize that his opponent is kind of ridiculous. Um, villain is not ready to be the villain yet. Like, not at all. He's got these guys doing nothing. He could have sent them in. Even with this, there's no units there to, to hit him. Um, these... Eight Marauders have done more damage in Villain's base than uh, anything else has done. And these four Marauders, they're going to have so many kills on them. We'll see if he drops them again. I'm just going to drop them over here. He's going to go check for an expansion. No, why would you? Let's see, we've got nine kills, three kills, four kills, seven kills. 
Why are you running away, Holmes? Those Marauders were kill those. Kill all that stuff. DTs, we got a Warp Prism over here for Villain waiting to do something. Um, but yeah, as well as T-Ninja is doing, his opponent is doing the opposite of well. Uh, he's only got one gas, he's oversaturated in his minerals. He's got four gates and a robo, and he walled himself in with t cannons. And now he's warping in some zealots. I like this. I like this, villain. Good job here. Uh, in spite of all of that, um, he only has... Wow. Well, in spite of all the action that's taken place, the supply is surprisingly even. Now, during that time, I know it's hard to multitask at this level, but uh, Villain could have easily waltzed in with these four DTs and killed this wall and killed this, and then he could have rained terror all over this base. We've got four DTs going to get dropped in. Um, dude, what, why would you do that? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. All right, all right. Now the DTs can go crazy. We've got so much energy here. He is killing a crap ton of SEVs, though. A little bit too slow reaction here by, uh, by T-Ninja. And he's going to be able to kill them now that he's got the scan. Uh, but he lost a lot of SCVs. Let's check it out. Um, 16 SCVs he's killed. But of course, uh, T-Ninja already killed 17. So basically just evening up. But of course, Terrans have mules. And both players sporting a pretty nice bank. Uh, the gas over here for T-Ninja is... Well, all these numbers are unacceptably high. Unacceptably high. But, of course, when you've only got one guy on each geyser, you're kind of going to be in trouble. And look at that. What are you doing, dude? Why do you have all your probes out here? What are you thinking? Get him in gas, bro. But here comes T-Ninja with what I am sure is going to be the decisive blow. And we will play some Rocky music for fun. Villain has left the game. I never saw that coming. <laughs>